Guys, I can't believe I'm saying this. We've worked on a rocket. Yes, there's a rocket underneath there. Now, some of you may know, some of you may not know what that means, but I'm the Bill from Topaz. I'm gonna to be introducing you to the transformation of this car behind me. And I, a lot of you are gonna probably know, I mean, you petrol heads are gonna know what this car is, but it's a rocket. It literally is a rocket. Anyway, there's gonna be a lot in this video that we're gonna be talking about with this car. So keep your eyes peeled, and I'm gonna show you through the whole process. It's a cool transformation, and it's a car that I've been waiting to see in the flesh a long, long time. Enjoy it. But I'm going to take off the cover and I'm going to show you exactly what the final article looks like. Tom, if you could take off the cover for me, please. And there you have it. The Brabus rocket. Look at this thing. Honestly, look at this thing. I can't begin to explain to you this, how big this car looks. I mean, it doesn't, I don't know if you can capture it in the video, but the way this car looks, it just looks so wide and menacing. Um, let's go through some stats, because obviously, uh, before I go into the obvious of what we did to the car, but the stats, 900 horsepower. It's got, it can produce up to 1,250 newton meters of torque. Now, to put that in perspective, a Bugatti Chiron is about 1,600 newton meters of torque. Bugatti Veyron is about 1,500 newton meters of torque. This is a four-door family saloon car that can produce up to 200, uh, 1,250. It's just insane how much torque this has. And it can, it can, I think it could pull anything behind it, really. The, obviously, the car has been made wider, as you can see. Uh, 0 to 60 is in 2.9 seconds. There's only, really, what, 10 of these made. This is the only one in the UK. Shout out to Zen Car Driver. I'll plug him in. 
So you can see this car being driven on the road. I mean, it's uh, hats off to you, mate. You've done a phenomenal job by specking this thing and buying one of them. One of these. I was always a fan of the GTs, to be honest with you. And now this coming out in the rocket equivalent of the old one, which was on the CLS, if you remember. It just, just, uh, it's just amazing having it in the workshop. So from our perspective, what did we do and what did we do differently on this? Obviously, every single part of this car had to be designed again, apart from things like the bonnet and obviously uh, some parts of the roof uh, and some parts of the rear quarter. Now you can see this has got an additional huge mammoth of an arch here and it comes out identified by this amazing pinstripe line all the way down. So that all this has to be readjusted and redone and templated from scratch, including the front bumper, obviously. Um, and another thing, obviously, is the first thing you see when you look at this car, you think, oh, wow, that's menacing. But then the second thing you think of is, oh, look at these wheels, they look cool. But again, these are carbon everywhere, all over. So we wanted to make sure that everything is protected. And then we had to template every single wheel uh, to make sure that it's fully protected. Now this, from a design perspective, plays a couple of parts with this. I think, uh, one, it helps with the stability of the car, so the aerodynamics and things like that. Two, is the cooling, and it helps with cooling the brakes down. So again, it's a functional part. Some people go, oh, what is that? It looks a bit ugly. No, I absolutely love it. I think it's very, very cool. Similar to the GT2 RSMR that we have, the rear, uh, on the rear wheel. This just looks really cool. So again, we had to template every single part of this. Um, and then if you look at going towards the back, obviously you've got carbon on here, which is in gloss. We kept that in gloss. Uh, you have the door handles, which are in gloss. We kept that in gloss as well, but also protected. Uh, and, but I think the fact, I've always said this and, uh, from the previous videos, with satin film, it really makes the lines look sharper. So as you see, these kind of lines here, which is additional to, uh, obviously because of it being the rocket, because of it being a Brabus, but it just gives it a very, very definitive line. But then you also get some of these shadow lines going all the way down the car, that traditionally you wouldn't see with a gloss car. So it's quite cool that it sort of just made it look a bit wider and a bit more aggressive. Talking about aggressive, let's look at the back of the car. Back of the car is, I mean, you've got this huge spoiler on it and it, it needs this spoiler because 900 horsepower up to 1250 newton meters of torque, it's gonna go, it's gonna bloody go, I'll tell you that for nothing. And then you've got these like four huge exhausts at the back which I can just only imagine, I would love to see flames popping out of them because it'll suit the car, but I don't think it, in this day and age, they're allowed to have it being that with emissions and everything else like that. But yeah, you know, just look at them, they look fantastic. Um, those are actually in satin, the, car the carbon is in satin, and then you have gloss carbon diffuser, um, which again, is all protected because all the way through with this car, if you feel all the edges, you'll feel that there is protection all the way through. Um, this car is a very expensive car, it's uh, basically 500,000 euros. So it's a car that is uh, very expensive and requires um, the utmost attention to detail when not just designing the car as what Brabus have done, but also when you're protecting the car to make sure that it can be driven and be driven hard and not have to worry about it. Let's talk about the interior a little bit. So interior part, obviously you have a lot of uh, carbon in the interior and down the center section you have also some painted parts um, and these are all prone to scratching and prone to damage so what we did is we applied some interior paint protection film as well to them so the center section where you have you know where you change where you're changing your gear and things like that most of the time you know the customer may have a watch on and or he might have a passenger with a watch on who might put his hand out and it's just one of those things where you've got to make sure you're protected. It's a small little detail, small little touch, but it helps because I hate having interior piano black or carbon being scratched up. It's just so annoying. So all this was all done. But then also, if you have a look, look at all the stitching and look at all the leather work in here. It's totally different to the original car. It's all been redone now. And also in the center of the, of the, of the uh, seat, you actually have, let me just take off the protective wrapper here. You also have, the Brabus logo being right there, which you can see right here in the middle. That's got, you know, a reminder to remind you that you are driving a Brabus, you're not driving uh, a normal Mercedes. And then also down in the middle, you have a cup holder where you flap to cover the cup holder. It's got one of 10 there as well to remind you that you are sitting in a royal Brabus machine, which is amazing. <laughs> love it, absolutely love it. But anyway, wait, guys, I wanted to just show you this because I, I, have, I have such an enthusiasm 
for Brabus. I have always loved their cars. I've always loved the way they look. I've loved the way they sound, and I love also what they stand for. Even if you look at the details here down in the arches, you've got Kevlar and all different types of carbon to protect all of the panels. It's so cool. It's just such a cool product, such a cool brand, but obviously it comes at a price. So anyway, I hope you liked this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing this. But anyway, I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Please give us a thumbs up. Your support is highly, highly, highly appreciated. And also lets me know that you like to see what you're seeing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Guys, don't forget our car care range is now available for you to purchase in our Topaz store, which I'm going to link up here. These are the products that we use here in our studios and across the world from cloths to all the maintenance needs that you need. I'm going to be giving you also a 10% discount because you're watching here and you supported us all the way through this by using the code Topaz10 on checkout. Make sure you enjoy them and let me know what you think. Take care.